Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for gold for Monday, January the 11th, 2010. Well, a change of trend to the upside today, so that uh, first time frame downtrend that we had uh, established uh, the previous day has been short-lived and uh, the market has established a new first time frame uptrend and a very strong uptrend um, with a high high and a higher low today. A fairly large green body candle compared to the two previous and that tells us that the buyers have made some solid net bullish progress. Having said that though, we have a very long shadow on the top of the candle and the candle closed just around the mid-range level. That's telling us that buyers fail to take control of this market, neither side has control of this market, and the buyers lost commitment. The shadow on top of the candle is the sellers coming in and selling the market off. The sellers weren't strong enough though to uh, close the market down towards the lows, so um, that says something about their strength as well. But this uh, market was all about today, was all about the buyers not having um, the commitment to close the market up at the highs. Having said that though, if we look at where the close is in relation to the previous close, it's a fair way above the previous close, so there's certainly a lot of keenness from the buyers there. So that's a positive sign for this market. Now the market is attempting to take out the um, resistance that's being offered by the top of the cloud or the Kumo, and that's holding each occasion that the, when we have these green candles, the market is probing that uh, that area and has closed um, in a minor way outside of that area, but the market's failed to go on with it. Here again, the market's tested the area around 1160, but sold off. So that area of resistance from the cloud is holding quite uh, quite strong. Also, the Kijin Sen, the pink line here, which represents the trend in the medium term time frame, has hold as, held as an area of resistance for the market as well. And we know when that turns flat, the market tends to be attracted back towards it, and that's exactly what's happened here. So there is potential for the market to bounce off that area to the downside. Uh, if that's the case, then we need to watch the low of the current candle for the market to come off. Uh, there is good solid uh, support all the way down through this cloud. Also at the uh, the Tenkan Sen here, which is the uh, line that represents the trend in the fast time frame, that's at 11.24, there's potential for support down there as well. So uh, that's an, an area that we really should keep an eye on if the market does sell off. But we also, we can see the support from the shadow on the bottom of the previous candle where the buyers came in in that area. So um, there is potential for the market to break out up above the cloud or the Kumu. So uh, we know that that's in Ichimoku charts, that's a fairly strong buying signal. And uh, that would coincide with the market closing up above the Kijun Sen, so there is potential for that. Uh, but what we'd like to see is a solid bullish close up above there. So a, a solid bullish close would uh, represent a, a higher probability of uh, this being a, a good buy signal. Having said that, we uh, have one negative here where we have the uh, uh, Tenkan Sen below the Kijun Sen and the uh, perfect arrangement that, that we'd like to see for that is for the uh, Tenkan Sen to be on top of the Kijun Sen for a, a, um, a bullish uh, signal. So we don't have that at the moment, but the Tenkan Sen is retracing back towards the Kijun Sen at a fairly fast rate. And if this market maintains its upside momentum, then there could be a crossover of those two within the, the next few days. So there is potential for uh, uh, some more bullish um, uh, signals in this market. But we shouldn't preempt the market. We should wait for that uh, that um, cross above the cloud and a solid bullish cross if it does happen. Mm -hmm.